Adam was going to exit. No, but the human thing, beings to come after him. The thing with Adam is Adam when Adam sinned, yes, or Adam basically, the Quran says that he was made to forget by the Satan. Yes. No, no, before so, even Adam was created, yeah. uh, God said, "I want to create uh, human beings on yes. earth." A wise gerent. You understand? I want to place a wise gerent on earth. And he knew there's going to be enmity between yeah. human beings and shaitan, uh, uh, Satan. Uh, Satan. Yeah. But he wanted to give human beings an example. But Adam was in this place. When he listened to Satan, he dropped. And now this enmity is going to be between you guys. Stay. I agree. So that's the example. There's no more than that. I think there's more than that. No, it's no more than that. Okay. So what is the because, point? For example, you don't know that. No, no, I know that. Opinion. No, that's why I know. Well, you haven't died yet. Okay, no, okay, okay, let, me, okay let me tell you an example now. When God created Adam, He told him not to eat from a certain tree. Go to your Bible, the tree of good and bad. Right? Knowledge of good and evil. Good and evil. Yeah. Knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge of good and evil. Eating from that tree is good or bad? God said it was not good. No, no, knowing the good and bad, knowledge of good and bad, is that bad or good? According to God, it was bad then. No, no, it can't be bad. Is it good or bad? If you know what's good and bad, is that good characteristic or bad characteristic? Is knowledge good or bad? That's what it's asking. Oh, yeah. Not, um, to have knowledge yeah. is dangerous. How is it dangerous to know what's good and bad? Have you ever heard the um, saying, too much knowledge pops up? Yeah, but this is not about too much knowledge. This is about the knowledge of the basics. About knowledge. I know he's no, 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 but his knowledge, knowledge is, knowledge is good no, no. or bad. His knowledge is with regards to to identify things which are good and which are evil. Yeah. So unless you know what is good and what is evil, you know which which one to adhere to and which one to stay away from. Adam already had that knowledge. Everything was good except for that one tree. No, but that tree. At that time, the, the Bible that states. Time. The Bible states that she was the tree of the knowledge of, of good and evil. So he didn't have the whole knowledge of good and evil. He knew what was good. Basically, everything. basically, he's telling you at that time the only instruction to him was to stay away from that tree. And that so as far as, as far as as far as he's concerned, this, this eating from this but tree, is that tree bad? bad. Yeah, no, no, no. The tree wasn't bad. Allah, eating from the tree Allah was said bad. to him that not to eat from that because for him that was haram. Yeah. Yes. But that's according to Islamic. Yeah, even from that point of view. No, but no, no. The Bible states the trees. There's no tree, by the way, we believe that has good and bad. Or a tree of uh, eternal life. Um, no, no, it means eating from that tree will give you that knowledge. But even there's that no is, such thing. Yeah, that is not in Islam. There is no such yeah. thing. In their in their books, there is. Or is an allegory. But the fundamental thing is, they have to stay away. From, Adam had to stay away from it. What he just said, which when is, God commands, don't do yeah. that. If you do what He commands not to do, you'll end up in problems. Yeah. So that's the main. But brother, the main point is this. So Look, there's no, there's no if, tree really called if eternal. Adam's, if Adam sinned, the question still remains: Why in in Christianity is this inherited by his progeny because in Islam it's genetic in Islam we the, the sin is not we are not burdened with the sin of somebody else I understand okay now this is where I find the injustice and I think that's what you're I think you're maybe, alluding to yeah, isn't it I understand um, yeah. what you're saying I don't think when Christians are saying we're burdened by Adam's sin that we literally but isn't that what your original sin doctrine is religion, religion, this is my religion understanding of original and I might be wrong as well okay. but this is my understanding and it's not that it is that so what's your understanding let's start with that okay my understanding is that since Adam yeah. the, the genetic what do you it's not genetic, brother. For me, sin is genetic. not in the DNA. Yeah, genetic has nothing to do okay. with chromosomes okay. or anything. So, so, so this, is, this is maybe where uh, we're unable to see eye to eye because my understanding is that genetic coding carries information from generations before, before, before. And the information it carries is not just characteristics, it's, it's character. What? It has, it's, 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 no. You, you got any empirical evidence for that? No. What are you doing? You're just speculating now. Yeah. If you go to a scientist and tell them say, it carries your consciousness as well, then... I did say this is my opinion. Yeah, no, but, but you don't believe in that. To reach the power of the lady. You don't believe that your genetics carry character. All of our genetics are, have sin, because sin equals death. When you see someone dying of cancer, yeah, but that's got nothing to do with is a manifestation of the sin of our forefathers. Who told you that? Not that fact, that's not even from the Bible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I asked this gentleman. No, but you're just making up things no, it's now. Not, no, no, I'm not making so it's not from the Bible. Where is it from then? 
Where is the it from? Of, okay. uh, in the Bible. Bible. What you just said brother. is from where? Okay, brother. The freedom of in the camera. Bible. And Did they ever mention our days? Days? Yeah. 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 Can we just move here? Just, just here. That's fine. Did and they mention cancer in the Bible? Religion. No, they didn't. Why? Because we um, are the as far as we know, as far as I know, in the in the Bible, it doesn't mention that the disease of the parents is carried on to the children because of the sin. Sin equals death. <laughs> so, wait, so disease. Wait, wait, what do you mean sin equals death? Can you explain that, please? Are you telling me if somebody doesn't sin, they will not die? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So show me, do, show me the sin die? of John, John the Baptist. What did he sin? What was his sin? I'm not God, so I can't tell you. So how can you say that he sinned if no mention of sin is there? And God says, God says about him in the Bible that he's the most righteous amongst the people who are born of a woman. Yes, God Himself testifies to His righteousness. No way. Now, if you cannot show His sin, and God says that He's righteous, and the fact that He still died, yes, in fact He was killed, then it shows us that never did God intend for the human beings to be immortal, because the Bible itself says that there's only one who is immortal, and that is God Almighty. You see what I mean? Are you waiting so, for the resurrection? Waiting for who's... We're all going to be resurrected one day, yes? And resurrection equals immortality. No, no, you're talking about two different things now. No, I'm asking wait, you, wait, wait. when we Let's, are resurrected, wait a minute. will we live forever? Yes. yes. After you're resurrected... So wait there, so, wait there. so you can't accept Im we, that we were made to be immortal, but you are accepting that... No, but you, you have missed one crucial point. What does immortal mean? It means... Well, tell me, tell me your definition. I, I think it means to live forever. Yes. So there is something called eternal which you live forever, there's no beginning, no end. That's called eternity. Yes, you're eternal, and that can only be God Almighty. Then there is something called immortality. And there are two types of immortalities. One is existential immortality, and the other is somatic immortality. So, God is existential immortal, plus the human beings, who God will want to live for eternity after the resur resurrection, also have existential immortality. So wait, wait, listen to this important point. There is one immortality which is, it, uh, which is unique only to God Almighty. And that is the somatic immortality. That means when you and I and even Jesus Christ and all the other prophets experience death. Yes, but there is one who will never experience death. And that is the creator, God Almighty, who will never experience death. So that immortality, like it says in 1 Timothy 16, he alone is immortal, who lives in an approachable light, whom no man had seen or can see. Yes? Remember the point, the crucial point here is he alone is immortal. That means no one else can be mortal except him. So we are not all immortal. There is only one who is immortal, and that is God Almighty. So when Jesus died for you, as you believe, and as we Muslims believe, that even though he did not die on the cross, he will die one day in his second coming, that shows that even Jesus is not immortal. But he raised from the dead? We will all be raised from the dead. No, no, no. That doesn't make us immortal. Okay, okay so listen, listen. That's Just because then, somebody... Not, he never waited till resurrection. My friend, it's nothing, to, then. it's nothing to do with that. It is. You okay, so you're telling, me, you're telling me Lazarus is also immortal then? Jesus raised Lazarus. Lazarus didn't raise himself. And who raised Jesus? The spirit that was in him. Which is God? not... Je which is, God? But that... God? God. Stop repeating. That's a bit annoying. I did it twice. No, but three times. Don't what get I, No, I'm, I'm telling you to listen to yourself. Did Jesus raise himself or somebody else? God raised him, the spirit so, of God raised him. So, was it Jesus? Ah, ah you see. see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. just like Lazarus was raised by somebody else, other than Lazarus, Jesus will also be raised, just like you and I will also be raised one day. Now, now wait, we are not talking about raising from the dead. The fact that if somebody rises from the dead proves that person is not immortal. Because immortality, a person who is immortal, Neither death nor resurrection applies to him. I disagree. Because... Show me anyone who is immortal to him explain. whom neither Let death or resurrection doesn't apply. Let me explain why I disagree. Yeah, go on. Because if he wasn't... If he was mortal... Who? He, Jesus. Yeah. If he was like us, he couldn't have resurrected... But could he have died? If he was immortal, could he have died? Of course. No. So immortal dies according to you? He had power over death and life. Bro, that's why I asked you to define immortal. What is your definition of immortal? In the context of 1 Timothy 6.16, where he says he alone is immortal, can you please define immortal in that context? Okay, so is the Alpha and the Omega No, no, answer immortal? this question before we go Alpha and Omega. Answer this question. What is the definition of 
He alone is immortal. The term immortal, define that in the context of 1 Timothy 6.16. Bring out um, 1 Timothy 16. You bring it up. I've just quoted the verse for you from memory. He alone is immortal, who lives in an approachable light, whom no man has seen or can see. Bring it up and you define the term immortal. Because to me, immortal means someone who doesn't experience death. Someone who's not subject if, if to death. If we go back to the point when the brother said that mm. sin equals death. Yeah, that's why I want to get to that. physical death or spiritual? Spiritual so it has was the original. To, right yeah. there. Spiritual was the original. Physical is the consequence <laughs> of spiritual death. No, because in the verse, When we die spiritually, the physical has to go with no, the spirit. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because on the verse... So it, our body no, can no, be without a spirit? No, hold on, hold on. The verse quotes, the day you eat from it is the day you die. Yeah. No, it's 